Okay guys, Ender from Off Dog Training. Just wanted to make a quick video on kennels. Uh, if you're looking to build a kennel or out, you know, outdoor kennel for your dog, if it's a working dog or, or whatnot, and you want a dog that's outside. Um, I've done a couple kennels, um, but this is, uh, is going to be like a little tour guide uh, or like a little ideas maybe you guys can use because I get a lot of clients asking how to set up a kennel outside. Okay, this is how I did it. I've done it a couple times and this is, uh, it looks the best and it works the best. Uh, so this is a 10 by 10. Um, usually it, the ones I had was like six by 10 or six by eight. Uh, this is way bigger. Uh, the quality, uh, this is a paw hut, I believe. This was about 550 bucks. Um, and this is Coco sitting inside there, by the way, guys. She's, I think five months now. Um, yeah, so this is about, I bought this kennel because i couldn't find anything in canada to give me good galvanized steel and i didn't want something bolted into the ground uh but this i got from marketplace uh for like 500 bucks it's a 10 by 10 it took about a day to assemble you need two people but it's pretty good uh, i won't be opening the gate uh to kind of go inside and show you guys but i'll, I'll do my best because i don't want her to get out of the other dog out uh, but ideally, this is what it really looks like. This is what you kind of things you should consider when you're uh, trying to make an outdoor kennel, what you need, okay? Don't go overboard and don't go uh, like nothing, like garbage, right? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I try to keep my dogs, especially like she's a breeding female. So we're, we're, we treat our dogs nice. We're, we're not in a business uh, to uh, you know puppy mills and stuff like that i want to treat my dogs good because happy dog is uh is uh is what is our first goal right before anything else okay so this is a 10 by 10 um usually this is a tarp uh, it just comes with the uh the actual kennel uh the top um uh, the little gray piece there it, it's literally a tarp uh, usually um like if it if i didn't have that i didn't come with it i would probably uh, elevate that side a little bit and then do panels going this way i like the, you can get it from home depot um the last one uh, last kennel i had every other uh, well the last two kennels i've had i built a wooden frame and then i put shingles on it but it got really heavy and this is just so much easier so tarp up top for the rain um this is not heavy duty chain link it's it's good enough if your dog is like if you have a mal or something a malinois or a dog like a dutchy or a, even a german shepherd that jumps a lot pinchers and stuff like that right uh, border collie sometimes all these dogs if you, you know your dog if your dog jumps a lot if it's a puppy you can move them in here and they'll get used to it uh, unless they figure out you know how to escape but usually if the dog grows up in it you'll know the problems you're going to have right away so you can kind of patch them up Right, whether you have to put a new roof or whatever. But without going too deep into that, I'm just going to give a quick tour. So this is just a gate. It swings both ways. Um, daytime, I'll keep it uh, like this just goes up and down. No, Babu, no. This is the double lock because the dogs will figure out that you can jump and uh, kick this up. So this way it stops them. Um, again, 10 by 10. It's good to have a concrete base. Uh, just, just you know, the the big thing is that concrete's the best. It, the dog can dig; it keeps it clean. You can clean with bleach. Don't do grass because your dog's gonna dig. Don't do gravel because your dog's gonna eat the gravel. Uh, so either get pavers or get concrete. Simple as that. The thing with pavers is if you have pavers, the poop sometimes when you wash it, it goes in between the cracks. Now my kids are here, so you might hear them in the background. So I apologize. They were all kind of, I just finished adding an addition to that kind of, Ty, come here, bud. So we got Tyson watching the kids. We had a bear in the backyard. I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you guys the backyard. So this is where we usually train and uh, I have it cordoned off here. And this is a secondary yard. So I got the kids there. And the last couple of days ago, I saw a bear run over here. So we keep Tyson on guard Got the bear spray just in case. But anyways, going back to the kennel. I got a couple of solar lights. You can get a electrical light if you want. You know, this is for uh, every like a normal Joe kind of build. This is not a professional kennel, nor do I have a professional kennel. 
right? We're going to have one, but right now we don't have it, right? So when we add more dogs, we're going to multiply this. But this is a, uh, I've, so far I found this set up to be amazing. So I figured I'd make a video. So instead of just talking about it to clients, I can just send them the link. And this might help somebody out there, you know? So, because I know I was looking at ideas and I found a couple of things, but this is what I like. This is, from my experience, this is what works the best. I got two solar lights. So when it's sunny, these light up at night. I want it to look kind of nice. So we added these two plants today. They're dog proof, like uh, they're the dog safe. But uh, obviously I'm gonna see if she starts, she hasn't been out uh, of the kennel yet with these things planted. So if she goes out, I'll have to correct her and tell her not to. Uh, but uh, other than that, that dog house, I got it from uh, Marketplace for about, um, I think 40 bucks. So the wood is so expensive, guys. Go to, go to Marketplace, you'll probably find a dog house uh um you know i'm gonna give you a total cost so that thing was like 40 bucks this, this fence this um uh, kennel was like 500 that dog house i don't know if you guys can tell it's insulated all around but what i'm gonna do is the only thing missing in this kennel is i'm gonna add hay um and maybe add a two by four at the bottom there so the dog can't drag the hay out because that's the issues i was having before right because she's gonna go in there and pull it out and become messy Hey, cut it out. Just a leaf, buddy. Just a leaf. All right, so any house will do. You want it off the ground. Um, this is a, a Karunda bed. I, I believe I saw you. Karunda, Karunda. Uh, anyways, it's, it's one of the best uh, quality beds. You can't break this. You, I mean, you can't like chew it. The dog can't chew it because the, the fabric is in the aluminum post. So the dog, and it's very tight. So it's, it doesn't, the dog can't bite it to like break it. So far, it's been pretty good. I'll be honest with you, we had issues assembling this, but I had to like put it out in the sun to stretch it out a little bit and Coco loves it, as you can tell. Um, this is like her, uh, you know, this is she, this is her lounge. She rarely goes in there. She only goes there if it's raining. So get a, get a nice bed. Don't get the cheap ones. I have the cheap one. And every dog that I've, I've had like four of them now. I'm not gonna show you the brand because I don't want to be shit talking them, but it was off uh, like Amazon, it's like 40 bucks. I'll use that for training, that's why it's over there, but I will not leave it in there because when the dog gets bored and the dog will get bored, they will chew up anything that they can, okay? Uh, another thing when it comes to chewing, you see the outside of this door? So like the outside, any edges that the dog can find, they're gonna chew on it. Whenever you find your dog is chewing on it, you can just go get those metal corner brackets from your hardware store for like drywalls and stuff and just put it on the edge and screw it in. They'll stop them from, because it's going to be metal. They're not going to want to chew it. All right, guys. And uh, last but not least. So, oh, sorry. Two, no, one more thing. Uh, bucket, metal bucket, uh, D-link to the chain link fence because she likes to hit, play with it. So I have to secure it pretty well, pretty well. Everything is either metal, concrete, or hardwood, right? Like hardwood, not hardwood. And the last thing we added was this little tarp because we're in BC, it's gonna be, it's, the rain's gonna start here. Uh, so I just got it zip tied and it's a 10 by 10. I'm just gonna flop it down and stop the rain from coming in the kennel so she doesn't get wet, um, so she can have fun. Anyways, guys, uh, this is my setup. Uh, feel free to uh, let me know what I should do. out. My wife dropped that rubber in there. And now I'm going to have to get it. Right, Coco? Bring it over here. Bring bring the rubber. Bring the rubber. <laughs> Just like, fuck off. Anyways, this is a good setup. Oh, uh, University Toys. Don't give excessive toys. Uh, I just gave that because she was whining. And then this is another one that I kind of switched back and forth. If your dog doesn't have drive, obviously, then don't give them toys in there. Uh, so they're not sitting there and uh, just chewing on it. But her, I don't mind because she, she has amazing drive. So anyways, uh, toy in there. Uh, keep it. Uh, oh, when it gets dirty, just pick it up. Pick up the poop. And uh, oh, uh, one more thing. So we have for cleaning, you can use bleach and water, right? Hose. So we have that but this you have to have guys so this was my old shitty kennel this you have to have okay and i this goes to my phone and i can keep an eye on her all the time and uh you know we do get predators here like bears and mountain lions she's still a pup she's about like five months uh but she's no pushover and i have another dog that's always kind of on watch anyways but um it, it's good to have that and so you can keep an eye on her and if she barks you can just go on the camera and make sure she's okay 
All right, guys, that is all. Leave me a comment, a like, and follow our channel for, uh, for more training videos and other kennel ideas if I do add something in this. I want to add, like, a, one thing I want to add because it sometimes gets really cold here is a heat dish or, like, a heater in the house. Anyways, guys, uh, Ender from Alpha Dot Training. Uh, take care. Bye.